Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement and uh, in this video we will be learning about two uh, very great important features about Microsoft Excel and uh, one of them is related to the uh, file optimization or reducing the file size and the second one is related to how to fetch the workbook statistics within this application. So there is a one very common uh, issue in Microsoft Excel is that if you have a data in the spreadsheet and uh, you removed later on that data so your uh, end cell remains at that point not reset according to the existing data for example uh, let me create a data a temporary data for example a1 till h10 i am just writing a similar kind of a number right so so i have this data presented in my spreadsheet and i worked on that on this data and later on for example now this is my uh, a1 is my starting cell of from for my database right and the ending cell will be the h10 so from a1 if if i want to go to the last cell of my data from a1 to h10 i i press control and shortcut key and i want to go back to the starting point of my data i, I will press control home key right so control end key this means that the last cell which is currently being used in my spreadsheet the ending point and the last cell according to the current current data presented in the spreadsheet is h10 and by pressing the control and shortcut key i just uh, excel just uh, takes me to the last cell for example later on what i do is i just remove this specific data and also uh, some of the raws data now my data ha has been changed and uh, according to this scenario my data starting point is a1 and the ending point is c5 so when i am on currently active cell which is a1 and i press control end key so control end key does not goes to the c5 it, it's, it's still going to the h10 right and there is no data because i deleted that data but it's still in the memory of the microsoft excel application because we have used this specific range previously so it's in built-in memory that they have assumed that uh, this is the used range and now we are not using that range so microsoft application is excel application is not resetting the last cell and that's why there is a problem in the speed optimization of microsoft excel workbooks the size of the excel applications uh, uh, does not do not reduce because uh, sometimes you just consider that in my excel workbook there is a very small data and, and the size of the excel workbook is so large why is it so because uh, you have used that ranges but in microsoft excel that uh, that ranges have been not reset right so again let me just uh, show you the demonstration i am standing on the a1 and when i press control end so it's still going to the cell where have where where there is a no data and logically it should be uh, go to the c5 right now for instance k for instance if i select these columns which i have used previously and i delete uh, these columns to get the to get my range reset and again i move to the a1 and when i press control end still there is a no difference even even you have reset it delete deleted the previous columns data and and the columns also but it's not resetting right so the best solution to reset the last cell in microsoft excel so that your speed optimization of the excel current workbooks should be improved and the size of the excel workbook should get reduced how we can do that uh, I just got an article from the internet and from the support.office.com a clean access cell formatting on a worksheet and this feature is available in uh, for, for the users who are using Excel Office 365 Excel 2019, 2016 and 2013 right so they need to go to file tab options and then add in selecting the com add-ins and uh, enable the inquire tab if you are using the previous versions you need to download the inquire tab but in most of the versions now inquire tab needs to be enabled from the com add-ins and in the inquire tab you have one very beautiful feature that is called clean access cell formatting okay 
so you need to enable that and let me show you how we can do this so when i press ctrl and key it's moved to me uh, h10 whereas we need to reset this ending cell to the c5 so first i need to enable the inquire tab so i will go to file tab options add-ins and at the bottom you can see that there is a drop down menu in the manage section you will select the com add-ins click on go button now select the inquire okay uh, check mark the inquire option press ok and the inquire tab will enable for you so now this is this is a very cool tab uh, for the auditors to audit the spreadsheet structures and the backend mechanism but in this video i will be specific to the clean access cell formatting when i press on this button it says that you want to apply this feature on the active sheet or all sheets and now primarily we are applying on the active sheet so when when i press ok so it says would you like to save your changes to clean the sheets yes and now let's say when i go to the a1 and now i will press Control end so you can see that Control end uh, puts me to the cell c5 as my active cell rather than h10 which was previously so uh, beautifully it removes the unused ranges uh, of excel worksheet and now my last ending cell will be uh, c5 so let's see when i press Control end so now you can see that uh, those unused ranges uh, which were previously used by us are now have been reset by the excel and in this way uh, we can reduce the file size and the speed optimization of the microsoft excel files also so this this is the beautiful feature um, and um, i hope you learned a new technique that uh, the things which are uh, in the cells which are empty but there there is also a capacity that possibilities that uh, it, it was used previously and you don't know and the file size has been uh, increasing uh, and and the reason you might not know so first thing to check that is uh, go to the first cell of the spreadsheet and press Control end and you can see that if if it's moving like here or here so you need to apply this feature so that your uh, spreadsheet cell should be reset to the last cell right uh, the second feature which i want to share with you is uh, that in the review tab now the microsoft uh, excel has one more beautiful feature which is called workbook statistics when you click on workbook statistics uh, it shows you uh, some of the statistics regarding to your active uh, worksheet and the current sheet workbook so end of the sheet is you now you can see that end of the sheet is c5 cells within the data how uh, 15 tables either either there are tables in your spreadsheet or, or, or the workbook formulas how many sheets are there how many formulas or macros are there so this is uh, initial um, uh, initial summary of your spreadsheet so so I hope you like this video. Thank you so much.